I have a story for you. A story about us. It's a success story, but it wasn't always that way. The story is not linear. It does not always get better with every chapter. In fact, some chapters you would struggle to even read. But those same chapters can only be written now because of you and your support. I grew up in a large family full of love and affection. I did not know what yelling was. I did not know what beating was. I had never witnessed anger between two people who were supposed to love each other. Normal to me was what I was seeing in my parents and my family, this vision of pure and safe love. But normal can be changed and my normal was changed by him. He seemed perfect on paper. He had a job, he didn't drink, he didn't smoke. I couldn't see anything wrong with him, but he could see a lot wrong with me. It started verbally. He told me that it was normal for couples to fight and who was I to say he was wrong? But then it turned physical. Mistakes were not okay in his eyes and by mistakes, I mean just being human. I became his own personal punching bag. If I dropped a plate, he would hit me. If I didn't eat what he wanted me to eat, he would kick me. If I looked out our window, he would slap me. I was blamed for everything he could think of. He even blamed me for being pregnant with our daughter. He threatened to deport me if I didn't get an abortion. Blame, blame, blame. He tried to push me out of a moving car. He tried to push me out of a window. He would beat me in front of my children. He would beat me as I held them in my arms, protecting them from his swings. There were points that I felt so scared. I couldn't even feel the floor beneath my feet. There were nights I slept on the ground as the sun set, holding my daughter because my body hurt so horribly I couldn't even think of moving. This was my new normal. And here's the thing about these kinds of relationships is that they make you feel alone. And that's what he did. He isolated me from the rest of the world. All I had were my children and myself and this life, this new normal that I never asked for. But sometimes all it takes is for someone to notice. I had experienced so many times where I just wanted someone to say something. Even after being hit in public parking lots, even after holding my children and crying in a mall food court, people walked by. No one took the chance to say something. But when someone finally did, it changed my life. Now, this is the chapter where you come into play. After a single conversation with a pastor, a chain of people came into my life who did not blame me for anything. Instead, they celebrated me and empowered me. There I was, sleeping every night, child on either side with my hands underneath my pillows, holding a secret cell phone in my right and a knife in my left. Not sure if tonight would be the night he snapped for real. And now here I am with somewhere to go, with people who showed me that I deserve better that my childhood perspective was the right perspective. Discovery House helped me discover myself again. I was able to build a new life for my children on my own terms. I'm going to school now and I'm starting my own business, a sentence I never thought I would be able to say out loud. And even though it isn't easy, and there are so close calls with him showing up in our lives uninvited, I can now finally feel the floor beneath my feet again. And even though my children and myself will be battling demons for the rest of our lives, at least we can see hope in having a rest of our lives. So I thank you for being that stranger who said something, who did something without being asked. I thank everyone who supports Discovery House so they can help women like me. Because the reality is that my life depended on it. And so, my success is your success. And this story is our success story. Without you, 
Without Discovery House and without everyone who took the time to support my journey, I don't know where I would be. And with that, I am forever grateful.